Johnson's got it. He's got the goal. Well, welcome back, everyone, to King K Stadium in Dallas, Texas. Brett Taylor, Johnny Vaughn, Eddie, and Mike Richardson, along with Gene Morris. Gary Lovitz with us tonight in the press box. And we've got Longview and Denton Guy just a few minutes away from kickoff. Travis has already qualified, John. You got some more scores. We've got a lot of scores, actually. Um, most of the games have been played earlier. And in 5A, uh, Euless Trinity is going to go back to state championship game. And, uh, uh, they beat Stony Brook 35-28. Alito beat Denison 40-28. Alito was one of those teams in four that was in the top ten that's still left. Yeah. Uh, Gilmer uh, is ahead of Wiley 21-7 in the third. Graham last night, we already talked about that. They beat Pittsburgh 27-20. Uh, Graham going to the uh, state championship game. And, and I, I noticed in the paper that when Colt McCoy was at uh, – uh, Jim Ned, they got beat in the state championship, and Case McCoy's got a chance to, to yep. win it. So Carthage is uh, head of LaGrange at half, 20 to nothing. Lake Travis uh, has already won 57 to 12 over Pearland Dawson and Brent. Uh, Lake, that means Lake Travis will be in the finals for the third consecutive year. Two time defending state champions. Pilot Point beat Kirbyville 30. Five to eighteen, Katie. Who's oh, <laughs> is, what can you they're, say? They're, they're every, every year they're in the finals. It seems like Katie beat New Bronzeville fourteen to six. Westlake. I, I don't want to say one thing. Katie can win more games in the playoff. Seventeen to twelve, fifteen to thirteen, yeah. fourteen to six. I mean, it's that's that's an experience we talk yeah, about. Yeah, exactly mean, what it is. Westlake beat uh, Cinco Ranch forty two twenty seven. Brenham beat Kerrville Tivy 31-21. Abilene 29, Klein 21. The final. Dangerfield's up over Refugio 28 to three, and uh, Cayuga is up 28-13 in the fourth quarter. Uh, Gold Wave is ahead of uh, Canadian in the second, uh, or at halftime, 29-25. Long or didn't guy won the toss. They deferred to the second half, so Longview will receive to start the game. Longview will start at center. Spencer Boards, Bryce Redman, and C.J. Green are the guards. Terrence Carter and Tevin Ratliff for the uh, tackles. Brandon Olson to tight end. Petey Robertson to split end. The flankers carry, carry Fortson. Aaron Johnson's the quarterback. Dakota Anthony is the fullback. And Tyler McRae is the running back. On defense for the 13-1, uh, Denton Geyer, Robert uh, uh, Sanderfield is the uh, one end. Jimmy Beans, the other, Tyler uh, Jolief, and uh, Taylor Bible. Taylor Bible, the premier tackling, defensive tackling of the state. John King, Blake Terry, Jake Smith are the linebackers. Brendan Wright and Josh Stewart are the uh, corners and the two safeties of Marquis Smith and uh, uh, Ravion Ingram. Last year, Longview able to burn that secondary for four big plays in the game, three touchdowns by Kerry Fortson. They've kind of revamped their secondary and they're hoping not to give up those big plays this year. Zach Brewer to kick it off for Denton Geyer. Eddie McGee on the far side. They'll bunch it up before the kick. And on the near side, is that Fortson, John? I believe it is Fortson. Fortson on the near side. Zach, Zach uh, Brewer is a soccer style left footer. Now he's gonna stop the ball. They're gonna move it to the far hash and they'll reset. Now Fortson and McGee will go back. Zach Brewer, left foot soccer style. We're just about set to go here with the semifinal game. We're glad you're with us. Here's the kick. This one's going to go deep, and it's going to go to McGee at the three-yard line. Back he comes up the field to the five, ten, across the field to 15. No, he's not going to get to the 15. Out of bounds, he goes at the 11. Well, came out of the end zone that time and really not a lot of running room and uh, uh, Josh Josh Stewart with the tackle. First down and 10 Longview from their scrimmage from their 12 yard line. First down and 10. They've got Rat Ratcliffe Redmond, Borens Green and Carter up front. Olsen the tight end. Johnson the quarterback. The wide receiver is Fortson along with Robertson. Go to Anthony the fullback. McCray the tailback. First down 10 Longview from their own 12 yard line. Wide receiver forces to the far side of the field. High formation backfield. First down 10 Longview from their 12 yard line. There's Fortson in motion. 
There's a give to McCray. Left side he goes. McCray hit at the line of scrimmage. No gain. It's going to be second down. Well, not uh, not much running room on the first play, and one of the Lobo players is is uh, down. It's uh, William William Johnson. Yeah, that's William Johnson who does a lot of blocking for Longview. The second tight end seems to have something wrong with his ankle. So it's second down and nine for Longview. One yard gain. Tavares Poole checked in the game for Longview. Along with Rashawn McGee. So it's second down and 11 for, or nine for Longview from their own 12 yard line. Cedric Hunt, the running back. Bunch formation near side of the field. One wide receiver to the far side. McGee going to toss it back to Hunt. Hunt's up the field. He's near the 20 yard line. He's two yards short at the 19. So it's going to be third down and a couple of yards. A nice run by, McGee, by uh, Hunt to the 19-yard line. No score in the game. We're just underway from Dallas, Texas. Ken Cage Stadium, Brent Taylor, Johnny Vaughn, Eddie and Mike Richardson. Gene Lovelace with us along with Gene uh, Marsh along with Gary Lovelace. Second and a couple of yards. McCray back in along with Anthony. Brandon Oates on the tight end. Wide receiver Robertson to the far side. Joined there by... Fortson, third and a couple of yards for Longview. They give it to McGee, to, here it goes, McCray to the midfield, to the 30 yard line, down the sideline he goes, to the 20, across the field, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown. Oh, it's a clip, Brent, good. Oh, oh we, man. We hit from behind, and it was 10 yards behind Tyler McCray. What a bad play. There's a penalty flag at the 14-yard line. That's going to rub it out. Well, it, it'll rub some of it out. He, he still uh, made a tremendous play by uh, Tyler McRae, but then Longview down on about the 14-yard, and that was behind the play. I mean, Tyler was going in and, and the uh, block from behind. A block in the back, so that's going to move it back and rub out the touchdown. Back to the 24-yard line. Lobby will scrimmage first and 10 at the 24. A block in the back. The officiating crew tonight's from the Waco chapter. The referee is Michael Moore. The umpire is Rodney Harris. The head linesman is Darrell Ward. The line judge is Charles Derrick. And the back judge is Larry Sims. First and 10 Longview from the 24-yard line of Geyer. What they had trouble with last year, though, Brett, giving up the big plays, it's a 57-yard run by Tyler McRae. Cedric Hunt, the tailback. There's a reverse play to Fortson around the corner. He comes. He's to the 10. He dies for the end zone. He's out of bounds at the two-yard line. They run the reverse, and it fools Denton Geyer and Kerry Fortson, who had three touchdowns last year, almost picked up one there. End of the game checks DeMarja Devine. It's the second tied in. William Johnson having to be attended uh, to on the sideline with injured ankle at the two-yard line. Longview will scrimmage first down and go. Hunt the tailback on first down. 10-14 to go first quarter. Double tight end set. There's Hunt. Right side he goes. Did he get it in? Yes, touchdown. Yeah, that was a great second effort on his part. He was uh, hit at the line of scrimmage by Jimmy Bean and then just made uh, a push forward and a spin move and gets into the end zone for the score. That's a good effort on uh, McCray. So Longview scores the touchdown with 10.09 to go first quarter. Was it Hunt? Hunt. Okay, to Cedric yeah. Hunt. Oh, excuse Hunt. me. McCray got him there and Hunt got it home. Extra point by Jenkins. Thomason will hold. Kick down, kick up, hold down, good. It is a 7 0 Longview lead with 10.09 to go first quarter. We'll be back on 104.1 The Ranch after this one minute timeout. Well, welcome back, John. 7 0 Longview. It's a five play, 89 yard drive for Longview to start this game. A couple of big plays in there a 57 yard run by Tyler McCray and a 22 yard run by Kerry Fortson. The touchdown was a two yard run by DeCedric Cunt. Longview up 7 0 with 10.09 to play in the first. Here's Crowder with a kick. This was going to go to Hunter at the 10 yard, 8 yard line. Back he comes up the field. He's a speedster. Outside he goes at the 20, reverse his field to the 25, chase to the backside and down at the 37-yard line. So a nice return by Hunter. 
Well, you had to chase him to the backside to get him down, and it's a first down and 10 for Denton Geyer. Well, you know, he actually made a couple of good moves, and it looked like he was going to have a huge game, and then Longview uh, able to react up and, and make the play. I thought that one's had a chance to really be a big return. As it is, it's a nice one. Jaquel Darden made the tackle, so Denton Geyer at their own 38-yard line, first and 10. 10, nine, 10 minutes to go, first quarter. Longview's on the board first. It's 7-0. Wide receiver to the near side of the field. Spread formation, double tight end set. Oh, an eye formation, or offset eye in the backfield. Walsh is the quarterback on first down and 10. And it's a play action pass. Walsh is going to deep over the middle. He's got a receiver back there, and this one is going to be caught. Caught at the Longview 15-yard line. Oh, they, they, you know, that's a play that uh, Dylan Moore. It just fooled Longview. I mean, they. They came out of the offset eye. They run play action. The tight end runs straight up the field. And, Brent, he was open for a long time. And Walsh actually was a little slow getting, getting it to him. Had he got it to him earlier, it would have been six points as it, as it was. It's still a big play. 9.51 to go first quarter. 7-0 Longview. Guy at the Longview 15-yard line. First down and 10. First offensive play. Double tight end set again with the wing on the far side. Now, now Guy from the spread formation. Now they break the spread and move the tight end to the near side and a wide receiver to the far side of the field. Now Walsh is back under center. They're going to give it to Will Height. He comes to the near side of the field and is tackled at the nine-yard line. It's going to be a nice gain on first down, a seven yards. It's going to be second down and three. Will Height with his first carry. It actually uh, was almost tripped up the line of scrimmage, able to regain his, gain his balance and pick up seven yards. Yeah, second down and four. Six-yard gain at the nine-yard line for Geyer. Under center again, one running back in the backfield. Double wing set on offense. Wide receiver near side of the field. Here's motion back to the near side. They're going to run the reverse play. Geyer turns it up. Longview missed a tackle touchdown. Well, it didn't take them long to answer. No, that was uh, the little reverse, and <coughs> Addison McGee had a shot at it but couldn't make the tackle, and it was a little... Uh, Spin off, uh, and, and, and the touchdown was scored by, uh, I, th I think that was Lozelle, wasn't it? Wasn't Trevor Lozelle, yeah, Trevor Lozelle. It was. So it's 7-6. to six. Ice cream point to come. Drew Johnson will snap it, and Luke Russell will hold it. The ball's down, the kick is on its way, and it's a 7-7 tie. With 8.46 to go first quarter, both teams have scored 7-7. Back on 104.1, the ranch in one minute. Well, welcome back. We've got a tie game, 7-7. Well, it sure didn't take them long to answer. Uh, they have a three-play, 62-yard drive. They had a big pass, pass play in there of 56 yards. The touchdown was a nine-yard run by Lozelle, and uh, we've got a 7-7 tie with 8.46 to play in the first. Here's Brewer with a kick. This one's to Fortson at the, fi the five-yard line. Back he comes, 10, 15, 20, up to the 25, seven, eight-yard line. So Longview with pretty good field position on the kick. They'll scrimmage from their 28-yard line. The tackle made by... Get in Mazzara. So it's first and 10 Longview from their 27 yard line. 7 7 tie, 8 39 to go first quarter. William Johnson back in the game for Longview. Here's Tomlinson in the game along with McCray. First and 10 Longview from their 27 yard line. 8 39 to go first quarter. 7 7 tie here from Dallas Kincaid Stadium. Wide receivers to the far side of the field. Red formation for Longview. Two running backs. There's the give to McCray. He dodges one, gets outside. He's to the 35, 40, 45, and out of bounds near midfield. And he made just a great run there, Brent. He really should have been tackled in the backfield for about a six-yard loss. It's just his quick feet. He's able to elude the tackler, turn up the field. Make a huge play out of what should have been lost. What a great play that was. What a great run that was. He got it all the way to the 49. It's first and 10 long view. 7-7 tie. 8-29 to go first quarter. 